Hello everyone and welcome to Piano Valley. Today's topic is sound texture and this is one of the musical means of expression from Piano Valley system and that could be something that you've never heard about before. So we're gonna talk about why do we need it, what is this, and how to avoid common mistakes that my students would make while imagining sound texture. We need sound texture to bring more freedom to our intonation, our internal singing, and our head muscles. Uh, and that will affect our tone and technique that will help our tone be more full and softer. And that will help also uh, keep our hands relatively relaxed while playing in fast tempos. So this is an example of playing without sound texture. I'm going to just imagine cellos with movements, glissando um, between notes, and then I'm going to play with sound texture. So you will basically have an idea what we're going to talk about today. to keep your hands relaxed. So sound texture is how we imagine a note in a three-dimensional sound. Because before when we would imagine um, notes in violins and cellos, we would still feel sound as flat and in a way two-dimensional, uh, like, like painting on the surface. Now when we imagine sound texture, we imagine a note in a sound of texture of water, uh, like listening to a sound on the pedal. So let's say this is without pedal, and this is with pedal. So you see there's no more limits. So this texture gives us ability to actually have a depth of the sound. And when we are in the sound, then we go straight down deep through the water. And again, if I sing without sound texture and with sound texture, you can feel the difference. So the sound um, starts having more volume. And so at that point, some of my students would start making the same mistakes. Instead of simply going down through the water sound, they would start in a way going down with resistance and force, like trying to dive into the ocean deeper and deeper. And that resistance always makes us feel like forcing the sound going down. And that always affects our tone and touch in a bad way. So again, if I sing first with um, with uh, sound texture in a good way and then sound texture with resistance and force and you can also feel the difference in my in my sound so it's like i'm making it too much i'm like suppressing something over here so if, even if i play first normal and then with too much pressure. I would start feeling unnecessary tension, you know, in my hands, unnecessary uh, pressure with my finger. So, yeah, there is no resistance in that sound. You simply effortlessly going down through the texture of water. And another thing, just to remember that just like with imagining timber and harmony dynamics, we need to add um, movement in the end of the sound, just like the tail of the shooting star. So we imagine sound and water texture, we're going down effortlessly, and then we kind of in the, on the bottom of the sea, we make movement to the right or to the left. 
And lastly, to answer the question, if we can imagine sound texture right away, um, without imagining notes first in timbre and harmony and dynamics, uh, I would probably say no, because sound texture is just a filter for the imagined sound. Like I said before, it brings more freedom and volume to your imagined sound, but I think it cannot substitute it in the very first place. So uh, you may try to imagine a nose and sound texture right away, but um, you would lose the feeling of texture and the meat of the sound. and. Also, um, it's not that easy to make, actually, especially if you're just a newborn baby in this area. So that would be it for today about sound texture, and um, thank you guys for watching, see you in my next video, bye bye!